Okay, here's another tutorial on how to make oscilloscope music with FL Studio. Uh, this is the setup I talked about last video. Go check that one out if you haven't watched it yet. Uh, and definitely get a copy of JScope. Uh, it's definitely uh, very worthwhile for this sort of thing. So starting with the circle that I showed you I had you last time. Something that's really interesting in Citrus is ring modulation. And what this is, is an amplitude modulation using a third oscill oscillator. So if we have these two, let me set this back up to two, that's where I prefer. Doesn't really matter for this purpose, but um, if you modulate the amplitude of one and two using three, you can make some really interesting shapes. And we'll just start right here. It need to be, it needs to be an interesting multiple though. So these are two, I'm gonna go up to five on three, two, three, four, five. And again, we're just going to modulate it. So six, seven. You can see it's, it's, uh, let's actually switch back into left, right mode. You see it's starting to do interesting things. And it's just because three is inserting itself on top of one and two, and one and two are just these plain sine waves. If you make three a square wave, watch what happens now. Watch down here, Some really crazy shapes. Really trying very hard. See what I'm doing here is now I'm introducing, so three is here creating the shape from the circle from one and two. But then three is also its own, it's adding itself in. So you gotta keep in mind that every every new oscillator you put in, it adds itself to what's already there. So in this case, three is sort of increasing and it looks sort of 3D because I don't have it panned. It, you can see what happens. Again, this is all, it, it's all the simple panning and the heights of the waves. And that is, again, it's being presented here. So um, this is ring modulation or amplitude modulation. It's a really useful trick in making these sorts of patterns. I find it really interesting if you look at these waves, it's hard to imagine that that would make this shape. So you really do need your graphics turned on when you're doing this. Sometimes I do it without headphones on just because the noise might be shrill and it's a lot easier to tweak on the shapes uh, without worrying about the sounds. Obviously you want to make sounds that are musical at some point, but to get a feel for this, I think uh, doing it without headphones on is, uh, or without the sound on, excuse me, is a, is a good play. So note that I had a positive um, polarity on, on this ring modulation. I'm going to turn this off for a moment. Make it negative. Get some other interesting shapes. Um, again, if you have the frequency slightly off, it will. you see it's sliding in the oscilloscope up here, because it's slightly, the frequencies don't sync up, and so they, over time, they'll, they'll slide, and uh, you end up with some interesting movement down in the graphic. Of course, it doesn't have to be circular. You can go with triangle shape here. And uh, you can predict it's a sound's going to be a little stronger. It's also got sharp edges.
Anyways, uh, that's enough time for now. Hopefully that you found that interesting. And uh, if you make any cool oscilloscope music, link to me. And uh, check us out over on the uh, Reddit subreddit. That's where folks are uh, sharing these as well. Take it easy.